What happens when Ford builds a transmission so overbuilt, it doesn't just power trucks and race cars, it literally ends up in military equipment. The answer is the C6 transmission, a three-speed automatic so tough, it's still alive today in junkyards, hot rods, and off-road monsters. This is the story of how Ford created a bulletproof gearbox, how it went head-to-head -head with GM's TH400, and why the C6 might just be the most underrated transmission in American history. But stick around, because halfway through, we're going to uncover a military secret about the C6 that most car guys don't even know. Part 1. The Birth of a Beast The mid-1960s were a turning point for Ford. Engines were getting bigger, cars were getting heavier, and the old transmissions couldn't keep up. Back then, Ford was still using the cruise o -Matico decent automatic for the time, but not designed for the insane torque numbers coming out of Detroit. The 390, 428 Cobra Jet, and later, the 460 Big Block were all pushing limits. Ford needed a transmission that could survive all of it, something that could handle the stoplight Grand Prix and still tow a trailer cross-country. So, in 1966, Ford dropped the hammer and built the C6 transmission. This wasn't just an update, it was a complete redesign. The C6 featured a cast aluminum case stronger than it looked, but much lighter than the old iron boxes. Three planetary gear sets instead of two, spreading the load and reducing stress. Extra wide clutch packs and bands for brutal torque handling. A massive torque converter. For smooth launches, even under heavy loads. The gear ratios were carefully chosen. First gear, 2.46 to 1. Second gear, 1.46 to 1. Third gear, direct drive, 1 to 1. Reverse, 2.18 to 1. That meant strong, off-the-line acceleration with smooth shifts and no drama. And here's the real kicker. The C6 didn't use a Sprague clutch in the torque converter like the TH400. That eliminated a common failure point right from the start. Most people think of the C6 as a truck transmission. But here's your first curveball. In the late 1960s and early 70s, Baja 1000 racers started using C6 transmissions in their off-road rigs. Guys like Parnelli Jones and Bill Strop were slamming their Broncos through the Mexican desert at full throttle for hours on end. Manual transmissions would shred under the pressure clutches burned up, gears shattered. But the C6 just kept shifting, even with no transmission cooler running through sand and rocks at 100 plus degrees, the C6 earned a reputation for not dying when everything else did. That's why racers started calling it the automatic for people who don't trust automatics. Part 2. Inside the tank. So what actually made the C6 so overbuilt? Let's break it down. Three planetary gear sets meant smoother power transfer and less chance of failure under extreme torque. Most transmissions back then used two sets. Ford went for three, just to be safe. The bands and clutches were wider than usual. That meant more surface area to grip, more durability, and less heat buildup. When other automatics slipped, the C6 locked in. The cast aluminum case was lightweight compared to older iron transmissions, but designed with extra ribbing and reinforcement in high stress zones. It could take abuse without cracking or flexing. And the torque converter? It was massive. That gave the C6 a super smooth launch and protected the engine from sudden shock loads. The C6 also featured a simple valve body, making it easier to rebuild and modify. Hot rodders loved that. You could upgrade it with a shift kit, swap out springs and valves, and suddenly you had a street-friendly transmission that shifted like a race car. Here's something most people don't realize. In the 1970s and 80s, Ford started using the C6 in ambulances, armored trucks, and airport rescue vehicles. 
Think about that for a second. If your transmission fails in a Mustang, it's annoying. If it fails while towing, it's expensive. But if it fails while you're rushing someone to the ER, that's life or death. Ford trusted the C6 to get paramedics, fire crews, and emergency responders to where they needed to go. They weren't about to risk that on some lightweight, unproven transmission. The C6 became the go-to gearbox for saving lives. Part 3. Military Grade. The C6 Goes to War. Now here's where the story gets wild. The C6 didn't just stay on the street. It went to war. When the U.S. military needed a transmission that could survive extreme torque, brutal terrain, and impossible conditions, guess what they used? Yep, the Ford C6. It showed up in all kinds of military hardware, especially in the 1970s and 80s. You'd find C6s in military tow trucks, armored personnel carriers, 6x6 transport trucks, and even in specialized amphibious vehicles and rescue rigs. Some variants of the M151 Mutt Jeep and Gamma Goat were also adapted with automatic transmissions for certain military use cases, and the C6 was often the gearbox of choice for custom or contractor builds. It wasn't about luxury, it was about simplicity and survival. Why the C6? Because when you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, under fire, you don't want a transmission that needs a laptop to fix. The C6 had no computers, no electronics, and no complicated sensors. It was field serviceable. Soldiers and mechanics could literally tear one apart with basic tools, swap a clutch pack, and get it running again in the dirt. In combat zones, simplicity is survival, and the C6 delivered. And here's something you probably didn't expect. The C6 didn't just survive war zones. It came home and went racing. Even today, drag racers still use C6 transmissions in Mustangs, Fairlanes, and Galaxies. Why? Because the C6 can handle over 1,000 horsepower when built right. Bolt on a trans brake, hook it to a big block Ford, and the C6 turns into a launch control monster. Where modern transmissions flex or fail under massive torque loads, the C6 stays rigid. That's why it's still a favorite for bracket racing, pro street builds, and old school muscle cars. Part 4. The Legacy of the C6 Ford officially built the C6 from 1966 all the way to 1996, a solid 30-year run. Over time, it was replaced by newer transmissions, like the E-4OD, and later the 4R100, which added overdrive and electronic controls for better gas mileage. But here's the thing. Ask anyone who's blown up an overdrive trans in a heavy truck, they'll tell you they'd rather have a C6 any day of the week. The C6 is still very popular today, in Restamod trucks and Broncos. Classic F-150 builds, drag cars, rock crawlers, and off-road rigs. And we definitely must not leave out classic Mustangs. You'll find C6s in junkyards, swap meets, and race shops all over America. They're easy to rebuild, parts are everywhere. And once you've got one set up right, it'll outlast the truck it's bolted to. At the end of the day, the TH-400 and the C6 are like rival superheroes. GM had the TH-400. Ford had the C6. But while the TH-400 got all the glory, the C6 quietly became a bulletproof tank used in race trucks, ambulances, and battlefields. And it's still out there, shifting away 